All right, the map is Blackbeard's Wrath, and these are the bonuses, 3, 7, 4, 2, 3, and 5. And this blizzard makes us into a 1, 2, 3 point hold for this plus 4. And this blizzard makes us into a 1, 2, 3 point hold for this plus 3. And this blizzard makes us into a 1, 2, 3, 4 point hold for this plus 7. And this is naturally a 1 point hold for both of these bonuses over here, once you clear them all out, which is not easy to do on this map. There's not a lot of bonuses in the map, it makes it a bit tricky. We're the green player, we have 5 here. We have a lot for this plus 3, an 8, a 4, and a 2. We are very strong for this plus 3. We could get that our first turn. 4 uh, hits the 1, takes it. 8 hits, wait, hold on. We push down to here, it's a 1, 2 point hold for plus 3 is even better. They hit my 3 over there, that's fine. That 3, that 1, forfeit, forfeit, can't save them. This 5, probably also forfeit. This 2, forfeit. This is what we care about. Don't you do it, Orange. Don't you hit my 2. Hit that 3 or go down. Don't, no, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, yes, good, good, good. You've realized, you've realized the threat that is my 8 in the way. Good. Here's the thing. I want to hit here and here, and then stack here to protect on a two-point hold. But then I might be stacking next to your five, and you might not appreciate that. Maybe we wait a turn before we solidify down to a two-point hold? You know? Have this hit here, the three can chill there. Have that hit there, and then when I start my turn, stack a couple troops there? Maybe? Or... Or we don't? I mean, what do they have an eight? I go fifth in turn order, I go, what, five troops? Thirteen... I guess it depends how many I lose here. I think that's what we do. Stack everything here. This hits here. This hits here. And then what we do after that depends on how many troops are lost. That's the play. What's everybody doing? I've been focused on this, not paying attention to what you guys are doing. Um, Magenta could be going down for this. Red might be going for this over here. Red's pretty strong to the side of the board. Orange is over there as well. So is blue. Uh, what? 13, 14, 16 orange. 5, 10, 11. Um, like a lot of red. Uh, yeah, these guys are fighting over there for a while. This all goes right here. And we hit this. If I lose a lot, we don't go for the two points. How many do I lose? One is not bad. I could potentially have a nine. You don't take an eight v nine, do you? We hold that there. And this hits over into here. Lost none. I think it unlikely blue does a four. I mean, I mean, ah, there's a chance red or magenta size coming from the back. Not liking me have this bonus. Cross my fingers, hopefully, I mean, if red stacks three here, blue's doing the, I don't know what that means, it means attack. Um, a three in here is a seven, hits there, becomes a six, bad dice of five, six beats a four, six before like a 75% chance taking me out. There's a world where you guys break me from behind and I'm crying, but then I fortify that 10 back and deal with you and eventually solidify it. Also, that's... Just more time you guys aren't getting your stuff right, hopefully. Ho you gotta cross your fingers, hope they're busy with their own stuff. Four is a number they're like, do they really want to hit a four on round two? Probably not. Probably not. Does, oh yeah, yeah, and orange doesn't want to hit my, good, yeah, they don't want to take an 8v10. They're going to focus around here, going to card trade and go over here. Where is this six likely to attack my three? Um, I could have this attack into here next turn and fortify this out away from orange a little bit. And I'm holding my bonus and blocking both of these, which is probably a little bit too antagonistic. Maybe I wait until orange slaps that bright. Hmm. How do I, I mean, I gotta get a card somewhere. I could, I don't, I mean, <sighs> there's a, I would like to manipulate it to get orange to try and hit that four and that four before I show that I wanna hold here, right? But I don't know that I can do that. I mean, I could hit this 10, that 2. Uh, no, I, I think I think what we're just going to have to do is put a few over here, a few over here. And then orange is just going to have to know that, hey, you're, you know, you're not getting this. And then we move away. And now I've got a 13 and a 7 protecting me. Maybe I should have done a little less over here, a little more over here. But they have to go through this and this and this. At this point, if orange wants to... I mean, if Orange wants to go for this bonus, it's just not going to happen. I've got a f 7, there's a 4 and a 4. So I'm effectively holding my plus 3 in the first turn, and on round 2, I'm blocking the 2 next to me. So there's only 3 other bonus. Oops, I clicked through that. Sorry, I was trying to move this thing around. He got plus 3. There's only 3 other uh, bonuses on the board that can be held without, like, going through me. Because we got the strongest spot on the board right here. Um, I've tried to get a, a decent, like, a good, like, a win or, like, a decent loss on this map for, the like... I don't know, like two or three matches now. It's just been it's been rough. It's a, it's a rough board. That's a, just a glitch. It's actually the orange player's turn there. 
And orange is now pivoting again over into here, because they are strong over here. And that's... No, no, wait. Oh, no, they're... Uh, orange. Okay, they're doing the... I want to have one, two, three, four uh, stacks live. So they're either a pretty experienced player, or they're somebody who watches uh, Risk videos, and they've seen other content creators do it. So something to watch out there. You get your bonus. You get your plus two. Uh, two rounds after I do. And yeah, so I've got two-point hold. You've got two-point hold. Mine's a bit better. You're holding there and there. That's fine. What do we want to do here? It occurs to me that eventually I could hold a two-point hold here, holding this, and these guys can't even access through there. Eventually, for these guys to get through here, they have to go through you. So I don't really want to mess with you per se. I think my best play is to probably eventually... Do we want to push red over to the other side of the board? Do we want to try and leave red over here for an elimination in case things go down? I think right now we're just, we're just card trading and chilling a little bit. This is what we're doing. We will stack these over to here. And then this will hit over into here with just enough. And then we fortify this over into here. Maybe eventually magenta or red hits this or this to give me a path out. Not super worried about it. Blue is all, yeah, blue's. So orange and blue are both doing the thing where I just want to keep my stacks alive. You know, blue's going for two, orange is going for four. So blue and orange have accepted that they are not going to get bonuses, I think. Because they're both blocking each other over here, which is good for myself and for Magenta. Also for Red to eventually get this. And in the meantime, we just chill. Perhaps I eventually want to get this and this out of here and protect down here to keep orange. Because orange could move into here and block me from holding this. As a possible scenario. Honestly, even if they do move in here and block me from holding this uh, extra plus three, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with holding a two point hold on a plus three while you hold a two point hold on a plus two, and then nobody else gets a bonus. Now, if red gets a plus five over here, well, a little bit different. But I think we just chill for now. I think we just chill. We're happy with where we're at. We know that blue and orange are not, you know, I don't know what their ranks are, but like, they're, it's not their first time playing. New, like, brand new players don't know to have, like, keep this stack alive here, this stack alive here. Don't worry about a bonus. Yeah, here's the problem. Red's gonna get that. But maybe we just chill out. And maybe red eventually messes up orange and blue over there. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna be patient here. And we are going to... Oh, I, do I want red in my... Do I want red over here is the question. I don't know that I want... I could push red out of my neighborhood right here, right now. And I'm actually gonna do that. I don't want red. There's a world where red decides they want to mess me up because, you know, chaos theory, right? We hit this like so, and then this hits over into here. Get you away from me. I don't want you deciding to randomly, you know, mess me up at some point. And we go back over here. Now, red getting their eight troops a turn. They could have stacked that 8 on that 4, had a 12, and that 12 all of a sudden, good dice breaks me, or whatever, card, and a card, if they card trade, you know, plus for, even for 4, would have given them uh, 12 on that 4, 16, 16, yeah, like, the, there's a world where with good dice and aggression, they just mess me up. The fact that Red is doing one big stack right here, um, and not trying to protect these three, tells me they're also probably somebody who either plays the game a lot, or at least watches videos. Orange is moving out of my way, I wouldn't mind eventually holding right there as well, right? Next turn, hmm, what do I want to do? I feel like orange, not gonna break me. I feel like I could do hit here, fortify all to here, and orange won't come back and break me. I think orange is experienced to know that if they run behind me to break me, I'm just gonna destroy, destroy that stack. They seem like the type to understand that. It'd be a bit of a risk though. Or I can just car trade over here and keep fortifying back into safety and just not take any risks, right? And leave this thing a path out. This one's already pinned, right? It's not going to get unpinned. It can hang out. Right? Eight for red. They're at 36 troops because I slammed them. So, evens things out. And let you guys mess around over there while I just kind of keep up here. Well, basically, blue, red's going to pull into the lead. Blue and orange are going to fall farther and farther behind over time. I'm not going to card trade here. I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I mean, I, there's a world where I could just greed for this bonus. What if we did try to like subtly greed towards a bonus? So you can attack there, you can attack there. They have other options to attack towards, right? That can hit there, like so. 
we can then fortify uh, uh, a couple. I don't think they're going to run through an 8 or a 4 and a 1 and a 9 to come break me. It's not really worth it. Orange and blue are... They're not looking to take risks right now. They're looking to keep their stacks alive and minimize their damage. And, th and I, if I get this next bonus eventually, I think they just let me have it. I'm not going to go too crazy for it, though. Yeah, you're gonna, you guys are just card trading over here. Yep, yep, that's what's going to happen over here. And we are just going to patiently wait for things to happen. You might hear some cars driving by. It's noisy where I live. It'll be like a low rumble of the mic here and there, but I think it's gone now. I'm not sure you even picked up. All right, so orange, yeah. I'd like to see you stacking more over there and not here, but I think you guys are content over there. If I'm the red player, I'm just like waiting until the time comes to take that out. Orange and blue are just fighting for fourth and fifth place at this point. Hey, you did the thing, so I can now go boom, boom, for that forward one point hold, but do I really need to rush for it? I could just, I could just have this hit here, fortify it back. Well, I don't want orange to card trade my stuff. I could hold more territories play my cards right, I can hold more territories. Get an extra troop of turn that way. Would be a thing to do. Not sure Orange wants me, uh, but, the, but like the social game. What if Orange goes full wild card and slams me, right? Hmm. 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 We want, we gotta be patient here. We've got, it seems like we've got a lot of patient players and I don't want to get greedy. I've got 39 troops. I've got this basically the same amount of troops as everybody else. A little bit more than you. We gotta chill. We need to chill. Let you guys do your things. Let somebody else make the first move. What am I getting this four out of there? You guys are boxing that four in. I don't see you guys intending to move at all. I'd rather not hit that four yet. Oh, make it easy for me, huh? All right, then we ignore this side over here and down there and uh, grab another bonus. Why not? I mean, they probably figured I'm going for it anyways. So that's why they tacked it out. Get a territory out of it, right? Appreciate you making me... This made my life easy, though. I was going to grab that next turn. I was going to grab that like way in the future, but... Only got to push through three to get it. Why not? We got to force card trade on five. Did you guys? You guys been card skipping at some point? Card trade on five here. I think a few people card skipped. Uh, we'll trade this in. And. Hmm. We will put a couple more over here. And maybe like that much right there. Goes down to 10 by the time it's there. Actually, more because that 14 is scary down there. We will just go ahead and grab this because, well, they're just kind of letting me have it, right? You're going to let me have it? I'll take it. And I don't want Orange attacking for a card over there. I will actually call that. Let's do. Let's move a couple over here, actually, like that. Just protect them. And Orange and Blue seem experienced. They understand that I'm just greeting for another bonus. You know? I've got 52 troops on the board. I don't think they go for elimination on me. Maybe things get wild and somebody decides they want to break a 17 or 11, which would be bad for me, but based on how they've played so far, I don't really think these guys are really looking to do that. They're letting... This guy's got a plus five. They're not breaking a one. Either one of these guys go here, like or blue, boom, boom, breaks red. Orange, boom, boom, breaks, breaks red. They have both had the option for turns now. I need to stop pressing C while they start your turns. Um, because that glitch happens sometimes. They both had an opportunity to break. I should have realized that sooner and like greedy for this sooner because they could have broken red a while ago, but they don't care. They're letting them get a plus five. So if they're not going to stop this guy's plus five, are they really going to stop my plus seven? You know? But we're still doing nice. We're at 52 troops. You're at 44. I did card trade before you because you guys have done some card skipping apparently somewhere along the line or I don't know. Something happened where a uh, card trading order is a bit different. I'm in fifth. I should have gotten... I card traded second, even though I'm in last in turn order, so a couple people card skipped. Still doing all right, though. We're not that crazy far ahead on troops or income. We're getting there. I am in... I have no interest in trying to eliminate anybody right now. Like, the way the board is, eliminations are kind of ugly. Um, if I want to eliminate uh, Magenta, I have to go here, 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 here. Like, every, everybody's kill guarding something. These two are kill guarding Magenta. I think Magenta's probably me the first one to go. Why is Magenta botting out? Maybe they took a bathroom break and they haven't gone back yet. Internet problems. Who knows? Maybe they've realized they're in a bad situation. I don't know. Maybe Magenta's realized that everybody's waiting to get a kill on somebody. 
And when somebody decides to go for kill, it has to be through them. Most likely, Magenta's the first one to get killed. This might take a, this might this match might take a little bit. You are a player for now. Sometimes it doesn't show the bottom out until the next turn. We'll find out. You're getting eight a turn. There's your card traits. You have 12 more troops than me, but I haven't got my troops yet. I'll get like 10 next turn, so I think you're two troops ahead of me. I, I think you're like two troops ahead of me. We're, we're, we're pretty close here. What are you going to do? Are you going to try and eliminate Magenta for the three cards? Or are you going to try and grab this bonus? Are you, you're, They're thinking about it. No, they're not doing it yet. They don't need to defend. Nobody's trying to break them, right? 11 troops for us because I got the extra territory. That's right. I don't card trade yet. They're just posh. So they're not really lined up to take out Magenta. Because, Mag well, if Magenta bought it out, so you got to be careful. If Magenta bought it out, they're going to break you. We are going to, I think, stack oh, a couple over here, I think. And then start lining up a kill stack over there. We're going to hit this over here. We'll hit this over here. And then we have a nice three-point hold on... What, so we had 11 that time, now it'll be 12? A three-point hold on plus 12? It's amazing. Red's got a nice stack there for getting kills, but the problem is you guys are... What that Like, what are you going to do? Car trade and come through here to get these guys? So they're not in a position to get a kill anytime soon. Realistically, if they want to get a kill, they probably should have left that... Attacking there was a mistake. They should have had a 50 stack right here and then left that in somebody else's territory. And then at the time of their choosing, they could go for this. They could go for this. Are you trying to take out Magenta? I think Blue has decided now is the time they want to take out Magenta. Or they're trying... Or I, I think Blue's play here. They're scared of Red. So they pushed Magenta out of there to make them... They've intentionally gotten rid of their kill guard on Magenta over there to hopefully encourage myself or Red to go for the magenta elimination before them. They're they're just desperately trying to preserve their rank is what they're trying to do. Which does free me up for a potential. I like how blue moved on my way there. I didn't even notice. That's nice. I could go for magenta. What are the card traits? Not that big. You've got 40 troops. Um I mean if you don't card trade, do I really I kinda like magenta being in like having all their troops in the way. Like I don't want to rush to take out magenta and then all of a sudden I mess it up. Or I don't. I won't mess up the kill. It's an easy one. But like, all of a sudden, now you guys are ganging up on me or something. Like, the longer this draws out, where I've got the biggest bonus, the better for me. I'm I'm loving this, and eventually, maybe you guys eventually shoo your way down here. And uh, I think the best I can ever do is a three point old. Uh, you did bot out. Also, yeah. Also, the fact that Magenta's a bot, and the bot might just start doing some rampaging around the board. Right. All the all the more reason. Yeah, this, this is actually, this is, this, is, this is great for me. The bot can just rampage against you guys. And, um, I mean, you broke the, the red's bonus there. Red should probably take out the bot right now, honestly. I mean, they don't get immediate card trade for it, but, I mean, should they? It's 59 troops is a lot. There's, they're never gonna get, get they're never gonna get to hold their bonus again. They need, I think they need to take out, I think they needed to notice that uh, Magenta took their entire turn. Are you about to bot out too? No. No, there's no way. It's not that big of a deal. You've got 65 troops on the board. You have the most... There it is. There's the card trade. Take out the bot right now, I think, is your play. That way you can... Yep, yep, yep. You only get one card for it. We lost 28 troops, though. But, like, you, you have to do it. Oh, you have to finish it. I mean, if you want to feed me the kill, Magenta, it's only one card, but... I mean, I t I'll take it. You're not actually going to take out Magenta. Do I want to take out Magenta for one card? It's only one card. I don't know that's worth it. I don't know that's worth it for one card, frankly. Um, I, It's 25 troops. I already have a card trait. It's not like it gives me another card trait. I think just let... Just just, just let him. Just, 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 uh, this Levin's here. That's, that's fine. Boss not going to card trait. Don't have to worry about them hitting there. I think... Hmm. I don't, if I hit there, that blocks my path. I need a card. I mean, what we do is we hit this here and we fortify back. And if I decide to take out the magenta bot, I do it with this over here with a card trade. Or orange gets out of my way. It like attacks down here, got my way. Blue trades in. You're going to go for the elimination on the bot. They traded it early, by the way. 
traded in a four. Are you gonna go for me? Oh, you're gonna, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They're gonna take it, oh, this is dangerous. They're going to take out orange and then have another card trade immediately after for 30. Mmm. And then they use that. Please lose a lot of troops. They can't take me out this turn. They lost 25 troops is amazing because that means if they card trade here, I mean, I, even, if, even if they lost like half, even if they only lost like 10 because 20 of their troops over here, even this card trade of a 50 stack there doesn't take me out. So they wouldn't be able to take me out that turn for cards. Maybe I should have card trade for safety last year, but I want to take the chance. Worked out fine. And now, and now, what do we do? Uh, they got plus 30. Oh, you're going for the red kill. No? You attacked that one over there. I don't know why. I don't know what that purpose that serves. Um. Hmm. Are you, ooh, you're thinking about breaking red. You do. You do. You do. You're pathing. You're, oh, you're, you're, they're desperately playing for a higher placement. They're getting out of the way, so it's, they're expecting me to do a multi-kill this turn. I have a card trade of 35 coming in. Everything goes right here. Um, we hit here, 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 no, no. We hit here, 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 here. Then we have one point on bold on, well, we have one point, and red only has a nine there, they can't really re retaliate. And uh, if we're, if we're looking good up, if we're looking good on numbers, we can try to get another elimination as well. But you've got one card. Blue has three cards. If they have a, a card trade of forty coming in, they could have a ninety stack. Maybe they do need to take out blue, or just let Magenta sit in the way for a little bit, right? Uh, card trade here gives me thirty-seven. This all goes right here. Maybe an eighty stack. Depends on the numbers. Um. Or the path thing? What was the path thing? Get you out of here for sure. Um, I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm kind of winging it at this point. The fact that I don't have everything all in one big kill stack is not super great, but it's kind of worked out this far. And do I take the bot out? We might as well. If you get the... I don't want you getting this stuff. It's worth it for the cards. And we get your two plus my two is four. If blue has a card trade in three, we're in a lot of trouble. If I have good dice, I can take out... I might not have the good dice. I might not have good dice. Um, I need I need great dice for this. I don't necessarily get it. What we do is we... We do this, and we hope that blue doesn't have a card trade in three. Wait! No, no. If they, if they have a card trade in three, boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, that's probably a GG right there. All right, I'm going to put this up as a video anyways. Yeah, that's a GG. They're coming for me. Good game. And well played. No, they're going for red first? Oh, you fool! You should have gone for me! You had the win! That 90 was more than enough to take... Oh, wait, no. I have 105 troops. Heart. Um, good game. Uh, I, 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 I had 105 troops, they had 90. <laughs> they're slow rolling it. <laughs> that's, that's normal. I appreciate it. I mean, I guess they're playing for placement, for sure. Um... I had 105 troops, I had more than I realized. 105 troops to their 90 stack. They would have had to have gotten fantastic dice. With good dice, it could have happened. <laughs> I appreciate the never, never give up, never surrender mentality. Um, but just just end your turn, man. <laughs> just end your turn. <laughs> it's, I, got a car, I've got a, I got a car trade in five. Even if you broke every bonus, you had to take me out that turn. That's... Uh, I, maybe they didn't realize they had a card trade in five, and that's why they're trying that. Good game. Yep, we already did say that. There we go. Keep pushing our way through all of this, and we got the job done. Love that for us. I think if they had gone for me first, maybe there's a world they take me out. There's a good chance they don't. If they take me out, they either get second or third, probably, though, is the problem, right? Because then right cleans up afterwards. Maybe that's why. Maybe their best case scenario is second place either way. But there it is. You love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch, too. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. Blue was an expert. I knew it. Red was an expert. Um, Orange was a beginner, but they played like a intermediate or an expert. And purple was a novice. But there it is. You love to see it. See you next time.